Welcome back. In the last video we talked about how to flash firmware onto your transmitter and your receiver. This time I'm going to show you how to wire this into a flight controller and how to set it up in Betaflight. So the board I'm going to solder this to is the JBF4. You can find that at Race Day Quads. And uh, we're going to install the R9 Slim receiver. But a few things we've got to figure out first is where we're going to connect it to on this board. On this board, you see we have a pad right here that says T-E-L-E. Tele, that's going to be our telemetry pad, so that's going to be our smart port. Next to it is SBUS, so that'll be our SBUS connection. And this one next to it says 3.3 slash 5. Uh, I had this selected to 5 volts. There's a solder pad under this particular board that you have to bridge to choose either 3.5 or 5. So that's already done. And I know you can't see it, but the pad next to it, that one is going to be our ground. Go ahead and tin up these wires. All right, now that we've got our wires tinned up, go ahead and put a little drop of flux on each one of these pads, since this is a used flight controller. Just a little bit of flux on there. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work from the inside out. Well, I'm going to work from ground this way. Hoping it'll be a little easier. Alright. Trim that up a little bit. Alright, that's ground. Next is our power wire. And then our S bus wire is going to be the gray wire going to the S bus out on the receiver. And the white wire is our S port or our telemetry. That's it. I'll wire it up. Clean your soldering iron off, put a bunch of solder on it, and turn it off. Always leave a blob of solder on the end of your iron. It'll keep the tip from oxidizing. And it's always a good idea to go back and clean off your flux.
All right, I went ahead and put a little bit of HVP on there, and uh, I've got one of these white noise receivers because I got a uh, Unify on the other side of it, and uh, I'm just gonna stick it up there and put my top plate on, see if I can find a good spot for it. Right there actually looks pretty good. I can get to the bind button if I have to. We'll just stick it down right about. Meow. There we go. And our wires up to the receiver. Like so. And uh, if you couldn't tell, this is a RM Rooster frame. Uh, it's not the easiest build in the world. It's pretty tight. So if you're if you've never built a quad before. I don't recommend starting with this frame unless you're really, unless you're really confident what you can do. It is tight. Definitely can't have more than uh, two stacks, so you wouldn't be able to do a four-in-one ESC, a flight controller, and one of these weight noise boards. It, it's just, it's just far too much height. And the autofocus on my camera is crap. And I'm um, using the uh, TBS Immortal T antenna in this build. There we go. And I'll hit that connection with a little bit of hot glue just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Now we're going to power it up, make sure we're using our smoke stopper because I don't want to burn anything up. set this thing up through Betaflight. Okay, we got our quad hooked up to the computer. We got Betaflight up here. Let's go ahead and connect. And I'm gonna go down to my ports tab and the, the port that I connected the SBUS wire to is UART1 for this receiver and the telemetry is UART3. Let's go ahead and save that. And I always like to go back in and make sure the say the settings stayed, which they did. All right, we're gonna go down to configuration, and here for receiver, my serial base and S bus. We'll save that, and we'll make sure that configuration stuck. Yep. All right. Go down to our receiver tab, and oh, there we go. One thing that's not working right now is my telemetry. I'm not receiving any telemetry back from the flight controller. Hit T T L M. All right. What we need to do is we need to change this to off. So set T L M underscore uh, duplex and save. Boop. 
And now I have telemetry. All right, the next thing we have to deal with is the fact that we don't have our RSSI. It should be on one of these aux channels and it should be basically at 2000. So I'll show you how to set that up. Okay, to set up RSSI, We'll go into our model and we'll go to our inputs page. We'll come down, we'll go to the bottom of the page and we'll make a new input. We'll just call it RSSI. All right, and the source. If you hold down your enter key, you can go to telemetry. And we'll just scroll through this till we find RSSI. You don't want RSSI plus or minus, you just want straight RSSI. All right, scale, it's gonna be 100. Weight, zero. Offset, zero. Expo is zero as well. All right, I'll exit out of there. Now go to the next page to your mixer. And here's where you're gonna pick which channel you want your RSSI to be. Uh, I'm gonna put it on channel 12. I'll call this RSSI as well. source I'm going to set it as RSSI, weight set to 200, an offset of negative 100. And that's it. And now we're back to the computer. We can see aux 8 is right here. This is our RSI, RSSI channel. And we'll set up over here as aux 8. Now the reason why we set aux 12 in the mixer tab and it's showing up here as 8 is the first four are here. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So your Tyrannus considers 1 through 4, your pitch roll, yaw, throttle, and then it's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's that. And if we go back to setup, we can see over here, RSSI is 100%. And that's it. That's how we set it up. All right, well, that's it. That's basically how you set up the uh, FR Sky R9 system in Betaflight and connect it to a flight controller. Uh, as far as setting up the RSSI, that's pretty much how you do it for most FR Sky receivers, the RXSR, the XSR. Um, thanks for sticking around. If you like what I'm doing here, please like, subscribe, uh, comment in the boxes below. If you have any questions, Anything you want to see, please fill it out. I read everything. Uh, I'll get back to you. On my next video, we're finally going to get to do the fun stuff. We're actually going to fly this sucker. And we'll see how it stacks up to the TBS system, which I've been using for a while now. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and catch you next time.